Hello, for those of you that have not met us before, I'm Helen, this I'm John. is John. Um, this is the first video for 2024, so first of all, Happy New Year. Hope you all had an amazing Christmas and are looking forward to lots of adventures and travels during 2024. Um, this video is about three of our favourite park-ups and ones that we will definitely be visiting again this year. Hope you enjoy. Have fun. Ta-ra. So our first place is a little park up overnight and it's in a place called Exodil sur Vienne. It's provided by the local council, it's free, it's on the riverside, there's tons of space, the sunsets are stunning, um, there's birds and frogs, the river's beautiful. As again, it's all free, there's a town that's got bakeries and a little takeaway shop in the evening. There's places you can eat um, on the side of the river, benches, there's plenty of bins, the ground's flat, it, it's just perfect. Next up, we're taking you to the beach. Now, this is quite a basic campsite, it really is. It's a municipal campsite, so it's dead cheap. It's cheap and cheerful, but the thing we like about it here is as soon as you pan up, look at that. I mean, it is literally two or three minutes walk up the dune and you're on the beach. And the, the, this is the west coast of France. We have the best beaches around here. They're absolutely stunning. They're more or less always empty. And um, look at this. Now, I took this at about 7 a.m. to be fair, but it doesn't get any busier than that. This is one of the best beach camping stops we've ever stayed at. Hope you'll enjoy this one and of course we've put the what three words location so you can find it. Next up we are off to Lac Vaxavier, a man-made lake. Again there's a little free out here Absolutely wonderful, great place to come for a walk. This island that you can see here is obviously it was the tallest part. It was the, the farm when it belonged, it was privately owned. And the what was the farmhouse, which is basically a castle, is now a tea shop that we'll show you at the end. It's a fabulous place to come for a walk. The whole area is now an artist's commune, as you see here. You can walk around and there's art installations absolutely everywhere and um, someone thought it was a good idea to build a lighthouse absolutely bonkers a lighthouse in a lake who wants it on the sunsets are just stunning again it takes about two hours to walk around the island it's lovely our final choice we're going to take you back to the uk to a place called concierge camping which is near Chichester and it's amazing and to be honest if one of our other members hasn't put it on there I'd be surprised as well as you can see from the overhead the pitches are enormous um, this little bit at the back is a dog walking ground but we'll come to that here's the entrance there's loads of seats to sit and have enjoy things from the shop and the bar as, as you get in and um, the reception once you walk in it gives you an immediate idea of how the place is over here you see the bar um, inside it's very small there's a reason for that we'll come to that in a minute on tap they've got local beers and ciders and just about every spirit you can think of and you'll see at the back it opens onto the back in the evenings lovely little shop 
here everything is actually well priced here is the back you'll see as we go through on the left here's where the bar opens up I say I mean it's got carpets how many outside places have carpets the lights are amazing plenty of tables see each table it's a heater over the top they can be turned on individually so you're not heating a huge room sit down bring your takeaways here they want more than happy for you to order food in everything like that so relaxed it's amazing as we head out the back when it's a bit warmer in the summer it's lovely here they've got japanese and pizzas and um, it's just fabulous as you can see everything is so neat but this is the pièce de résistance the toilets showers are huge for people like me with dodgy knees there's chairs so you can sit down and get dressed again big rainfall showers little handheld showers all electronically controlled and to be honest it's better than the shower in my house and I've stayed in hotels that have got way worse bathrooms than this place has this is the waste area clean out you can you can empty all of your stuff for free this machine is amazing you put your toilet cassette in it two pounds empties the cassette squishes it round the water gives it a clean disinfects it it's absolutely amazing comes out smelling like new best two pounds you'll ever spend the toilets are amazing again electronically controlled taps press on press off This is my favourite bit. If you've got a dog like ours that loves rolling in fox poo, they've got a dog shower. Seriously, pop your dog in, nice warm water, shower it off, bath it off. They've got hair dryers for the dog, built in Hoover, clean up afterwards. It's all free. It's included. All they ask is you put a donation. What more can you ask for? This place takes five stars to a whole new level. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe, like, it all helps the channel. Really appreciate it.